Hello, I'm Bat. And I'm Z. Now, the topic for today's class is respecting dogs. Yes, that's right, Bat. And using your examples, we want to get children to understand life from our point of view. So, I hope you're all ready to come up to the front and share your stories with us. So, why don't you go first, Ivan? Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, my friends. Uh, I was tied up outside the shop waiting for my owner when this kid runs up. He taps me on the head. I mean, would you like to be tapped on the head? Yeah. I was always told never to speak to strangers, so I tried to ignore him. He just wouldn't go away. And what that means is, owners should never tie their dogs up outside, or things like this could happen. Yeah. Or worse still, they could be stolen. So remember, you should never approach a dog that you don't know. You should always ask the owner if you can stroke their dog. And if they agree, you should let the dog see you and smell you first. <laughs> so what's your story, Angus? Well, we're at the local park with our owners, like we are every Sunday, you know. The only problem was, when we got there, our field had been taken over by a group of kids who were kicking a ball about. They were screaming and shouting, making a right noise. I thought they were asking us to join in, so I ran over to them all enthusiastic, like barking my head off. My mates, Willie and Hamish, started herding them up. That's what we sheepdogs do. Then the next minute, this wee bonny lad starts to cry. I think he must have fallen over in all the excitement. And guess what? Us dogs got the blame, as usual. Oh dear. Tut, tut, tut. So if children are scared by excited dogs, they should stand still and keep quiet. Screaming and running will get the dogs even more excited. If a dog wants something you are holding and you are scared, drop it on the floor. An adult can always get it back for you later. So remember, never play with a dog, even your own, unless there is an adult around. <laughs> Oi! You three, be noisy at the back. Why don't you come up here and tell us your stories? In fact, why don't you go first, Juanita? I was snuggled up on my favourite chair with my tortillas, just about to watch a movie, when young Wayne charges in and launches himself on my chair, nearly squashing me and spilling my tortillas on the floor. I really screamed. He only had to ask. Well, I know what you mean. I am so tired of the kids in my house always wanting to play. They never let me get any rest. One of these days I'll give them what for. The kids in my house always tease me, just when I'm about to tuck into my dinner. Yes, you're so right, Brad. It's a shame kids don't realise that we need our own space too. If you disturb a dog that is eating, they might think you're going to take their food away. We all love our food and don't like people taking away our treats. How would you like someone taking your treats away? If you want to move a dog from a chair or bed that you want to sit on... Ask an adult to do this for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've been a bit quiet, Winston. Would you like to share your story with us? Well, if I have to. The other day, I caught this burglar coming into our garden. So, I tried to stop him, right? By getting hold of his leg. <laughs> Now, I thought my owner would be well pleased with me. But all I got was shouted at. Oh. How was I to know I was doing wrong? I thought I was doing him a favour, protecting the property and all that. <sighs> nah. No matter how hard I try, I just can't win. Well, we all understand why you were doing it, Winston, protecting your family and home, but you must never bite anyone. Just bark to let the humans know there's a problem. Entering a dog's territory like their kennel or garden can make dogs feel threatened and that they need to protect themselves. Come on, Gwyneth. What's your story? Right you are, then. Well, it's quite embarrassing, isn't it? My owners are forever kissing me. Yuck! If I kiss them back, I get told off, you see, and they don't want me licking them, do they? People can be so strange sometimes. Didn't something like that happen to you, Fifi? Oui, oui. I was just relaxing on my own when the owner decided to squeeze me around my waist and give me a sloppy kiss. Sacre bleu! I found it really upsetting and tried to move away. They just wouldn't listen, so I naturally snapped at them. Oh. Don't cuddle or kiss dogs. 
They like to have their own personal space and are likely to feel trapped. If a dog moves away from you, it probably wants to have a bit of time and space on its own. I'm always telling owners not to kiss us. We might have germs, you see. And some of us dogs just don't like it. No, 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 no. So does anyone else have any last points to add to that? I don't like being washed. Oh. I don't like it when they grab me. The worst is being ridden like a horse. <gasps> They never seem to realise that when I'm in my bed, I'm having a nice sleep and don't want to be disturbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But having said all that, there are some things we really do like. Put your hands up when you've thought of something you like. I love my tummy being rubbed. <laughs> I really like going to training classes, especially agility. I really like going for walks with the family. I prefer quiet time in bed. Hmm, I love treats. Oh, yeah. I like playing with my dog friends. I like being groomed. <laughs> Thanks for that. Now, I hope you've all learnt something about respecting dogs. Yes, there are many other stories we could list. Or well, maybe you can find out some more. It's important to remember that dogs have feelings, just like you and me. Next time you are around a dog, try to think about how you would feel if you were them. And remember, take the lead by respecting dogs. And cats!